today what I'm doing is a horse stall review. So now I did purchase them from Ram. Um, I went on their website and you, there's a lot of different options um, and you're able to pick your absolute favorite one. So what I did is I actually picked the very cheapest Ram horse stall that they had that had a drop down V insert or just something where the horses could stick their head out. I've always wanted to have where horses can stick their head out on the stall um, but that is a little bit harder to find. You could find the ones without it being in the stall really easily um, but um, I wanted that. I wanted like a built-in thing. So let me show you what all I have in my horse stall. from the manufacturer of RAM, do you realize you're only purchasing the metal work pieces. You are not purchasing the lumbers. Now I did purchase, check around Lowe's, Home Depot, all your lumber yards um, and see where you can find it the cheapest. Sometimes they'll price match, but I just found the cheapest lumber. Now you'll notice the bottom two rungs are pressure treated. That's what you wanted to have done. Um, so that, and I was supposed to have it all the way around. My handyman did not do that, um, unfortunately, but you're supposed to have it all the way around um, so that that if the horse poops on the wall or something, it will help to keep it from rotting. So now I've had these for about six months. So they are a sliding door, which is good. Um, now I have just recently added these stall fans. Now I know these sometimes like supposedly have issues with maybe barn fire or stuff like that. I have a cement block barn so we don't have to worry about that very much. But the stall fans I only have on for a very short time um, during the summer now and so I have um, them here on the stalls and I have my extension cords up and around. So the features of this horse stall is the V insert. Now I know it looks like there's not a V, um, but it's because you can actually take them completely off is what I would actually recommend. So uh, yeah, so now the horse can lay their head out this way, but they can't get out. Now we'll say when we first put them up, I had horses get out. So they were able to push it forward, out, and push it forward again, and we're able to get out. So I've now installed secondary latches, again, from RAM. You wouldn't necessarily have to purchase it from RAM, um, but that's to help keep it from uh, being pushed off. Um, I also have a feed door. So under here, you just push up, and then here's a feed door. You could technically leave this open for the horse to set their head out, too. Um, now, a lot of people put, like, the side feeders here, um, but the new improved thing is that they should eat at, at height, like at neck level. Um, so I have some of these feeders. Now I got them from Tartar, um, so now they're a little bit more expensive. Um, actually, they're about the same as the other one, but they're more expensive than, because you're buying them just for the feeders, not the entire horse stalls from Tartar. I liked Tartar's horse stalls, but they're way too expensive. Um, my original thought was to put hay and grain in here, but they tend to be taking the hay out to get to the grain. So now I'm just gonna put hay. Um, it will, it puts at least, I would say, about five or six flakes of hay in there. So easily enough for two days worth for most horses. Um, but those are my feeders. Now I don't have any automatic waters at this moment. Uh, but maybe later I will. The problem is we do freeze here, so I would worry about that. Now as far as opening, here's how you open them. You push up on that and it releases up here. So I don't know how well that's gonna last overall, but it seems to work out pretty good. So then you pull back, and then we have our sides. Now we did have to have it a little bit angled over here because I don't have it exactly right because it's in an existing barn. Um, but if you're doing a freestanding barn, then that'd be super easy. And here's how the tartar feeder looks on this side. So right now I just have a big water tub in the floor and hopefully they don't knock it over, um, which most time they don't. Um, and then I just put like a pan of feed in here. And that is my horse stall. Super, super love it. Uh, I'll show you the V insert and how that works. And what I've done is I just store them over here. And so I can take them over here. You put it through. See if I can do this while holding the camera at the same time. You put it through like here. And there we go. So if you wanted to leave it on, that's how it looks. Now I will tell you by looking at this direction, look how far out from the stall it is. So if you had horses walking through the aisle, they could easily hit it. Now this is not sharp or anything, but still they could hit it, they get caught up in it. So I would definitely recommend, if you have it down, just go ahead and remove it. Unless there's like, it's only you and the horse is only in there for a little bit. 
but even if the horse is in there, he could get his like halter hung around something if you still had a halter on. Um, so I like to just completely take them off if I'm not using them, but they're really nice that whenever I do want to use them, I just fold it up and you just it's really hard to do one hand, not too hard to do one handed, but a little bit hard to do one handed. So you just lift it up and it goes right over those hooks and it's really secure. Like they could push on it. So whenever I first get a horse, I bring them here and then I will leave that up. So here's kind of how it looks like that. Now, if you're going to get a stall from Ram that didn't have the V insert, just imagine that that would just be welded a complete piece together. So that is my Ram horse stalls. So now, so I didn't like how that was hard, that was easy for them to get out, but after tightening it and getting the secondary latches, it worked out great. Um, and I got four of them. So, and now I've added my stall fans. So super love them. So if I was going to like rate my Ram horse stalls, I would give it like an eight out of 10. I have to give them an eight because the getting out, like that's an issue. Um, but because of the, the secondary latches and then tightening it up, it could have been an installation issue. Um, I had to have someone do it for me. Um, I know they say it's easy to do it, but I'm not that handy. Um, you may be that handy, but it took my like professional handyman like almost two weeks to do it because um, you've never done it before. Now if you get someone who's done it before, you probably can go a lot quicker. So yeah, definitely recommend these horse stalls. They're, they've been great. They add great eye appeal. Um, not necessarily easy to like do, like to put them up. The customer service though is really, really fantastic. I was able to call them and they've called me back to see if they, um, if I really like them. So really like them as like people and a company um, and they were the cheapest so if you want to know the actual price you know a lot of people don't like to know prices but I am doing this all on a budget right so um, I have to pay for it all myself so I don't have somebody paying for me so I got four horse stalls now what I have a weird sizing since I have a barn so like a barn that's not I guess normal <laughs> so this from here to here was 12 foot so I got a 12 foot front and a 10 foot side. Now he did have to kind of form it to fit. Again, it's harder when you have to form it to fit. Um, again, another 12 foot side and a 10, a 12 foot front and a 10 foot side. Unfortunately, over here, this was only 10 foot. So if I did 10 foot and 10 foot, that'd be a little bit small. So I got a 10 foot and then another 10 foot side here. So it actually makes this a 10 by 20 stall, which I absolutely love. So it's my favorite stall for sure. And then did the same thing here, had another 10 foot front and instead of doing a instead of doing a stall right here I now have it it's a run-in I like to use it as a run-in anyways and so I can shut my back doors and make this into a fourth stall or just use it as a run-in which is what I have it right now um, and so again that's another 10 by 20 so I have two 10 by 20s two 10 by 12s so I think really really good size for my barn and my, for my stables so super like that so it cost wood the metal work and the labor to get it done um, would cost $7,000. I know, disaster, right? So all said and done, it costs about $7,000. So the metal work itself is by far the most expensive from RAM. I think the metal work was about $4,000, $4,500, somewhere in there. So, um, you know, labor, you know, that kind of depends on your area. Same thing with lumber, but with RAM, that's how much it's going to cost. It's going to cost about between four and 5000 for four horse stalls. Uh, now, if you didn't get the V insert, didn't get the feed door, it could be cheaper. So if you just want some metal horse stalls with the cheapest route, you could do it that way. Also, Tractor Supply has pretty reasonable um, horse stalls, but they don't have any V front and no feed doors and stuff like that. So if you're wanting to go a little bit cheaper. So, but that's how I like it. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I definitely, again, do recommend Ram as a company. Um, Ram, if you're watching, love to be sponsored. So uh, thank you so much for watching. God bless. Be adventurous. Make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.